Well, if you're wondering what is a great stress reliever, well, Grace Stevens is here because studies have shown that doing a bit of baking can really be good for your well-being and relieve some stress. Morning, boy. How's it, Dad? How's the exams going? Um, 100%? 100% what? 100% crush. 100% fruit. 100% goodness. Love by Clover. Well, not only can baking relieve stress, it's also a great way to really spoil someone special in your life. That's why we've invited Grace Stevens here to really show us how to make a 100% berry delicious blueberry and dark chocolate chip muffin. It is a tasty addition to your romantic Valentine's Day breakfast tray, and it's something you do not want to miss out on. Good morning, Grace. Good morning. I have to say, I've never made a muffin recipe that involves crush you know our 100% crush yeah this is a great way to get some new some nutrition into your yes. kids and the acidity in the fruit softens the proteins in the flour so you're gonna get a nice tender crumb on your muffin so it's a perfect addition amazing so what do we start with so we're gonna start off with just getting my dry ingredients together so I've got some flour and then my sugar goes in there um, and then a little bit of salt my baking powder and then you can put all the, the wet, the wet ingredients. ingredients. So I've got an egg there, so you can crack it and then just give it a whip. There we go. I know they always say you should never crack the egg into the... the yeah, con just in case. Just hey? in case, yeah. yeah. So I can just give that a bit of a whip and then we're adding so some... So I've got some vanilla extract here, so that goes straight in there. There we go. And some oil. It's a great oil-based recipe so that you can keep these for a couple of days. You know, if they will last in your house. I don't know about you, there but... There we I go. Baked goods always go so fast in my house. See, it's because you're such an excellent baker. There we go. Right, and then my clover crush goes in. And this is just going to give that, oh, that berry flavour to it. Hint of berry that we want because yeah. we are making dark chocolate and blueberry muffins. There we go. And this is great to get the kids involved because you can pop this in their lunch box because it's all back to school now. Um, and then make sure that you add some of these chocolate chips. So I've got some dark chocolate chips. And then is there a secret to making sure that your blueberries and your chocolate chips don't sink to the bottom? There is. You know, sometimes what I do is I toss them in my dry ingredients before um, I put my wet ingredients and then just somehow they don't sink. Okay. But I'm making such nice small ones today. There shouldn't be really be any Too much problem. Room for sinking. Yeah, and don't over mix. You just want to mix until everything is well combined. Oh, when these blueberries are in the oven, they're just going to pop. <gasps> and there's just going to be flavour and then every now and again a nice dark chocolate chip. So these are perfect. And that is a wonderful combination that, that there's going to be a gooiness that comes from the blueberries in, yes. inside. And then of course with that hint of dark, the bitterness from the dark chocolate. It's a winning combo. So I've just used a, a quarter cup here just to help even them out and get a nice consistent muffin. Make sure there's um, a chocolate chip and a blueberry in every muffin. <laughs> <laughs> we do not want to skip on those. Yeah. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees. These go in for about 12 or 15 minutes. You know, you just check with a toothpick that you just put in and it must come out clear. And then there you go, you've got some lunchbox treats or some after school treats because you know what, after a hard day at school it's quite nice to come home to a glass of cold juice and a muffin. Of course, and I mean there is, it is amazing that you can literally just make these, they obviously last a bit longer, seal them in an airtight container. Yes, absolutely. And is this the type of batter, if you had to mix if you want to freeze this, is this something you would recommend? No, I wouldn't recommend freezing this. I would make them up and then freeze them. They thaw out in about half an hour. So even if you just put a frozen one in a lunchbox, it would be thawed by our break time and it would be just so delicious. There we go. I really like that. Well, Grace Stevens, it's always so amazing to see these creative recipes. How long would we pop this in the oven for? So about 12 or 15 minutes. Okay, yeah. 12 to 15 minutes. They're not minutes. going to go really dark. Can you see they're quite blonde? So you don't want to wait until they really I feel like we need time. to have one. I th I, you know, so you definitely are my kind of girl. Of course. There you go. Thank you. This one is for me. Thank this you. This is for you. This yeah. one's for me. Now, not only is it 100% fruity, tasty and chocolatey, I'm about to jump into this and actually prove it. And of course, it is also stocked with that 100% goodness with Clover Crush. Okay, this is breakfast Right, here's the big moment. Mm. Delicious, huh? 
so good.